Today I will be presenting our paper titled as Estimation of Fair Ranking Metrics with Incomplete Judgments. I am Amer Kurnap from UCL and this is a joint work with Fernando Diaz, Asha Biega, Michael Ekstrand, Ben Cartwright and Amy Nailmas. Information retrieval systems are primary mechanisms people use to access information. Therefore, they have a big effect in shaping the society from the perspective of accessing the information. Evaluating fairness of IR systems is a fundamental research problem. Therefore, several metrics to evaluate fairness of IR systems have been proposed in literature. Most of these metrics require annotations associated with sensitive attributes. Sensitive attributes could be either gender or race, etc. But these fairness metrics require significant amount of labeling effort for sensitive attributes. Moreover, obtaining sensitive attribute is expensive and sometimes these sensitive attributes may not be available at all. In light of this, we propose a sampling-based method to estimate the value of fairness metrics when sensitive attributes are incomplete. We validate our proposed approach with three different data sets and show it is possible to obtain unbiased estimates of metrics with as few as 10% of judgments. Here is a brief overview of my presentation. I will first explain fair ranking metrics and then show our sampling method. And then next I will present our experimental results and give some potential future research directions. So, to measure the group in a ranking, we could use proportion of group representation, which is computed as the number of items belong to some particular group G in a rank K, or we might use exposure of group, which is continuous sum over a ranking for an items that are belong to a particular group. Let me also briefly explain the symbols in here. P tilde G represents the proportion of group and pi less than or equal to k represents the ranking of items that have ranked less than or equal to k. DG denotes the binary sensitive group attribute of an item. And gamma is a discount factor. It's a number in between 0 and 1. It, it, it reduces over the ranks with a factor of I, rank minus 1. After, having, after measuring group representation, we might come up with such metrics that compute the divergence between the target and the actual representation. Here PG denotes target proportion of group and P tilde G denotes the system's actual proportion of a group in ranking K. We, may, we might use some linear functions or square difference or KL divergence to compute the, the difference between the actual, the, the divergence between the actual and the target value. By the way, target value is given by either a lawmaker or an application owner to the fairness researcher. Next, let, me con let me continue with our sampling method. So previously, there are some sampling approaches to estimate usual IR performance metrics such as average precision, etc. We extend this previous approach to as that is being used to estimate the usual IR performance metrics for computing fairness metrics. The first step is doing doing in this is to finding a sampling distribution that is good to estimate fairness metrics. So the formula you have seen here is previously shown to have a good performance on estimating the precision metrics for uh, different IR systems. Let me explain this formula. WR denotes the sampling weight for, a, for an item at rank R and capital R denotes total relevant of relevant items at rank 
And this value, WR value, basically reduces over the ranks R. After assigning sampling weights to, to an each item in, in collection, we use certified sampling to reduce the variance in estimations. And here is how certified sampling works. So we first sort items by decreasing probability, as you can see from the top row of the figure. And then we split them into buckets. The bucket size is called M, which is an annotation budget given by an application owner again. We assign sampling probabilities to each bucket that is proportional to the items, the sampling weight of the items in this bucket. And then we sample buckets with replacement M times. And then we uniformly sample items from sampled buckets without replacement. Here, here are the black bars represents the sampled items from each bucket. After having sampled set of items, we use Horace Thompson mean estimator to compute desired fairness metrics. But first, let me explain how Horace Thompson estimator works. Suppose we want to compute the population mean x as x hat. Here, f of pi i is a function of item i in population, in our case, in ranking pi. And then in our case, this is a binary sensitive attribute. Theta i is a probability of an item i being included in sample set S. And d is the population size. In our case, it's a ranking size. After having Horvath Thompson estimator, here is the estimation of group proportion at rank k. Basically, we replace f of pi i with indicator function of pi, pi i, which is binary function. If, if the item i belongs to dg, which is the, the group of g, then this will become 1. Otherwise, this will become 0. And theta i, again, is the inclusion probability, which is the probability of being included for an item i being included in sample set s. After estimating the pg value as a p, p tilde g hat value, we may compute the same matrix with replacing, substituting b, p tilde g with p, with p tilde hat g as following. Here pg again denotes the, the target value and p tilde g is the estimation of proportion of group g at rank k. On the other hand, we may also use the R estimator to compute the group's exposure in ranking k. Here again, gamma is the discount factor. I is the indicator function of group information, binary sensitive attribute. Theta i is the inclusion probability for an item i in sample set S. So after having method, let me continue with our experimental results and then show some conclusions that we get from our research. First of all, we use three different data sets. One of them is we, we generated simulator that simulates, that generates system of submissions with different fairness performances. And then we use submission of 2019 fair ranking track systems. Finally, we use book recommendations data which includes book interaction from Goodreads with metadata information from Open Library. And this metadata information contains the gender information of orders for books. Here's our experimental setup. We focus on the case when sensitive attribute is incomplete. And we assume that the relevance labels are fully available and fully known for all items. And then we simulate incomplete labels by sampling from 10% to 90% of the items from the set of complete labels. And we repeat our experiments 10 times to mitigate the variance of estimations. To evaluate our experiments, we use Kendall's ta value and root mean square error value between actual and estimated metric. We further compare our method with induced method baseline which is done by removing unlabeled items from the list, as a result of which lower ranked labeled items move up in the ranking. And in, as a next baseline, we use uniform sampling that is done by assigning the same sampling probability to each item in the collection 
and then using sample mean estimator. So this slide demonstrates our experimental results. Let me first explain the plots. The x-axis denotes the actual value of the metric. Y-axis denotes the estimated value of the metric. And we put y is equal to x line in order to check whether our estimates are biased or not. And here red circles denotes the induced method and black crosses denotes our proposed weighted sampling approach. As you can see from th these plots, in all cases, our estimates are unbiased, meaning that they are, in, uh, they are around y is equal to x line. However, induced method tends to overestimate the actual value, meaning that the estimated value is systematically bigger than the actual value. These results show 10% of labels is collected by only labeling the 10% of items. When we compute our MSA value and the tau values across different metrics, we have always obtained that our method performs better than the induced method. Afterwards, we ask the question of how does the estimation performance change over different sampling rates? And to see how it changes, we had the following experiment where we have different sampling rates. In this plot, you may see from the x-axis that, that the unjudgment rate changes. For example, if the unjudgment rate is 0 0.9, then this means only 10% of the documents are labeled. On the other hand, if the unjudgment rate is 0 0.1, then 90% of the documents are labeled. And the graph on the left represents the results to compute group's exposure. The graph on the right represents the results to compute the square difference metric. As you can see, our weighted sampling approach performs better than uniform sampling approach to estimate top-heavy values, top-heavy quantities. However, the uniform and weighted sampling approaches perform equally well if we are computing uniform heavy, not top-heavy metrics. In conclusion, we propose a sampling approach for estimation of various fair ranking metrics when judgments are incomplete. Our results show that the proposed method is an unbiased estimate of fair ranking metrics. As a future work, we plan to extend our methods to estimate fairness metrics when both relevant and sensitive attribute information are incomplete. We may also adapt this estimation technique for further fair ranking measures. And finally, Maybe we need to identify some sampling distributions that would minimize the number of annotations needed for particular fairness metrics. Remember, we were using an approach that is that performs well in top-heavy average top-heavy metrics in usual information retrieval. Thank you for your attention.